Alright everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the online career mode of the episode 14 now. Last episode, if you missed it, we did complete the summer transfer window. Some of us got some big transfers in. For me, it was just Harry Wilson. But, you know, it's big enough for me. Very happy taking him. But yeah, for this episode, we're going to crack on with September. I'll have just hit there. Before we get into it, you can see I've actually got a loan offer for a neighbour. The French centre-back I've got. I do accept it. See if anything comes from it. So there's quite a few I've accepted there on him as well. But he hasn't actually moved on yet. But yeah, I'll just quickly show you the September calendar there. Quite a packed month of cup games and also our match against Owen. So we're going to have to be quite wise with the matches we actually play. But first of all, I've got the Checker Trade Trophy, round one of that. This time it is only me, Owen and Welsh that are competing in it because the boys of the championship are not too good for it. And they actually do decide to save this as well. I decided I'm not really that bothered losing if I do because my main focus for this time is the league and maybe the FA Carabao Cup. Feck here does get us the first goal, puts one up in the 8th minute. Jalo then before half time gets us the second and then Maiga wraps it up at 3-0 in the 63rd minute. Not a bad first round. For the cup games I will show the results of this episode. I'm probably just going to blast through them all unless it's an online game. So Owen and Welsh did win their games as well so we're all going for the round two. But now we're cracking on with our first league game. Home against Fleetwood. I decided to play this one. We've only got the one league win so far after a pretty poor start of the season. See the team we're using there because of the international break. So we've had to replace four players there. We've got Jallo and Bennett up front this time. First chance though does come our way is Jallo. He's quick enough to burst on through there and get us to go three minutes in. And he's in again here. He's pretty quick, that fella. This time I just rolled over to Bennett and he gets his second goal with we finesse out into the top corner. We've got our, our youth player goalkeeper in there as well for this game. And our goalkeeper here is making some nice saves after Fleetwood got a few attacks going. But in the 75th minute, Harry Wilson got the chance here. Cuts on his weaker right foot, but he does roll it along into the corner. 3-0 to us. And yeah, that is it for that game. Happy with that result. Finally getting some wins in the league is all we're after. A quick training session there. And now before we get into our next game here, I do actually go to our player numbers and switch them up a bit. I do change Vic here to number 11 from the 24 he was given. No real reason for it. I just, you know, give the man some respect. But yeah, we're in there next game. We're playing it again because we're away. We've got our full strength team back pretty much. We're starting Vic here and Burner up top. We're against Portsmouth in this we go. We we'll start things off with the first chance in the 20th minute when Fakir robs the Portsmouth defender. He rolls it over the Werner. He rolls it back into the far corner. Get us a nice wee lead there. And they've got another chance here. Jones rolls it over the Branco. He takes a wee sidestep, finesses it off the post and in. What a player! In the second half though, he's at it again. Jebbles around the place, chips it into the box. Werner goes for a bicycle kick, but it is just wide. Portsmouth have a corner now though. They whip it across. I try to clear it away because it was a pretty short one. Doesn't quite clear it very well. They volley it back in. And somehow it's teetered its way past the line. So we do lose the clean sheet this game. Not to worry though, because in the 78th minute, Kitalana rolls it across the face of the net. And Werner taps it in for his brace. Even though it was a tap it, that was a quite nice finish to be fair to. But yeah, that game we do win 3-1. And yet straight away, we're going to keep the ball rolling here in their next game. We're against Reading this time. It's a home game, so we're simming it. And the third minute, Fakir puts his 1-0 up. McShane gets sent off for Reading. That just gives us more of an advantage. Then Fakir gets a second goal from a penalty. And then the 82nd minute, High Wilson gets the third goal for this game. And we win it 3-0. So now we're definitely hitting some massive form. Well needed form too. And after this quick training session here, we've actually got our game against Owen up next, MK Dons. So we're just going to cut straight to it and fire away straight into the game. Owen and I both hitting some form at the moment. Let's see who ends up winning this. Go on, Nabble. Oh, it's over. Fuck. The Zach, green I'm gonna time. Two losses in a row. Oh, Curtis. Oh no. <laughs> I, you I think I just slipped there, one. Bro, I don't know. Oh. That's mine. Like, oh, Jack. that's my CDL. It's gonna be cheapest release they have to pay for him. To be honest, I didn't mean to score the third one. I just cracked a shot on the DM, thinking it was going wide. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, and watch this cunt. Fuck off. I think Warren Seth gets back. Wait! Oh! How's that going in? Oh, well, that was a low oh. shot. Harry Wilson against United. He wants curve. Oi. Oi. That was a save. Oi. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the curve on this. Oi. <laughs> Oi, Mike. You Collins is doing bits at the moment. He's come on and done more saves than Izzo did. Oh my god. <laughs> You're just gassing him up and he misses a corner. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, To be lie, fair, he's still boys. a bit more saves than Izzo. 
I'm not going to lie, boys. It's not looking promising for me as manager at the moment. Is it tax lethal? Oh! <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Where did that come from? I'm 5 new down, and then oh he God. decides to do that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. oh, my God. Burn is so good. I apologize for that, but after that burn, I can't think I had to. Okay, so there we have that. A big win for me. We had some rivalry going the last few seasons between the league matches and the cup games. So we never really know what to expect in those. But for now, we're into the Carabao Cup. We're going free this time. We are away to Bradford. So we're going to make sure we play this one. Might as well go for a bit of a cup run. Especially because me and Seth are the ones still in it. First chance here comes to Harry Wilson. He rolls at the back here. Trans roll on the ground in the near corner. But it is saved. But you may also notice from the scoreboard, I did concede to Bradford. That was my own fault. My Elgato just didn't record it. That's all I can say there. But Bradford were probably the better team in this game for the most part. Say so here, they got another chance before half time. They went ahead or just from the edge of six yard box. Grabar does make a save. But loves to fall back for a rebound, but he smacks off the bar. Quite unlucky for them. Very lucky for me. In the second half though, Jalo's bombing forward. He takes the finesse shot. It is saved away, but the rebound falls straight to Branco. And he's definitely scoring that. 10 times out of 10. And now I've got the feel for it. Fakir takes a shot a little far corner. Gets us the lead, and then the 70th minute, Fakir to Werner. The game is well and truly wrapped up. Absolute rocket there from him. Into the corner. And there we have it, we're in the round 4 now of the Carabao Cup. I'll show the results up here now. Obviously, Seth was the only one who playing this game, and he did go through as well. With a 1-0 win, and to go with that, the Europa League also kicked off there with the first group stage match. Will and Callum being the ones competing in that. Will won his first game against Panathinaikos and Callum against Ghent. We'll see if either of those can push on three and end up winning that. Could be quite exciting there too. But yeah, quick training session before our next game. Up against Doncaster. It's one more Simon again. And early on, Fakir actually scores two. One to 15 for one, 22nd. And then in the second half, Werner gets one. And we're running away of it this game. Russo came off the bench. Gets us the fourth. And then Werner in the 73rd. We have our fifth. A relatively easy game there for the boys. It definitely is going to be competitive between the three of us. Going for the automatic promotion spots. And then the Europa League group stage match 2 was played out. Will won his 3-0 against Bayer Leverkusen. And Callum won 2-1 against Valoranga. And here just to end off September. I do get a loan offer for my new youth star for this season, Turner. Got quite a few of him as well. Just keep accepting them. But he hasn't quite moved. That leads us into October here. I'll put the calendar up screen there. You can see that it is again a very packed up month. 8 games in this one. Including our match here on the 3rd. Our first game of the month against Welshie. Newport County. Later on, we've got the Carabao Cup round 16 against Burnley. But yeah, time for a match against Welshie. Into that we go. Let's see if I can keep my online form up this season. Here we go. Fuck me, Bob. Because you're pissing me off. Goal, Jack. <laughs> oh, Bob is shot. kissing you off on Ultimate Team, is he? <laughs> <laughs> nah, maybe it was the oh, night free. No way. Oh, Jack. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I guess. What was my keeper doing? Oh god, it was cleared for a second. Oh! Yeah, you cleared for a second, you just It cleared that. up for like one second, and like, that was. <sighs> a pitch! Oh. I have another loss. Surely you can pass the ass in. Yes! Yeah. Only took me to the hip shot. <sighs> Good game, I guess. Okay, so yes. It's another win for me. 2 1 this time. That jumps me top of the table for now. We'll see how it fully looks closer to the end of the episode. But for now, a training session before heading into our second round of the Texture Trophy. Again, I'm simming it. We're against Jillian them. Starting pr pretty much our strongest team as well. May as well keep her going. Werner gets the first goal, as you'd expect, pretty much, in the 11th minute. Fakir puts his team up, then just skipped at the end. And boom, we win 4-0. Jan Valerie and Timo Werner getting the other two. Pop the results up here for the rest of the boys in there. And again, everyone won theirs. Could end up getting quite close between us. But for now, our next game here is another sim game. This time we're against... Charlton Athletic, and in this one we do get an early goal. Honestly, we're looking quite unstoppable at the moment. We've got the two hardest ones, I'd say, with the online games against Welsh and Owen out the way. And it's a complete change since the start of the season, where we drew our first game and lost the second. But now we're heading into our third league game of October. We're away to Luton. Branko in the second minute gets us the first goal. He's just so good. He's going to be in this club his whole career. You just know he will. This game, though, nothing else really happens. I say these are the most stressful games because you at any moment bang I can equalize. But for, luckily for us, it goes for the 90 and we do win 1-0. I'll happily take that though. An away game. 
They're always risky to sim. And a quick training session there. You can see some of the players were training over and over again. Harry Wilson being one of them. Before heading into our next game of October, it's another one we're simming. We're home, we're in some good form. I feel like risking it. We're up against Ipswich in this match. Too well for anything to happen until the 29th minute. Timo Werner with our first goal. He is on absolute fire this season. Goal machine. And yeah, as soon as we get the second goal in on this one, I just skip to the end. See what happens. I'm going to do win 2 0. Kitlana was the one who scored the second goal there. I'm going to do Sim on 3 here to our next game. It's an away game against Burton. This one we're going to play. Again, we're using our strongest team possible. Don't want to mess this up. And in the 20th minute, we've got our first chance. Werner finds a pass for the Fakir. He hits the first time. Off the bar, just past the line. And bang, it's the first goal. But it was offside. It was an absolute peach of a finish. But unfortunately, yeah. We don't quite take the lead yet. Burton have a chance now. He leathers a shot just from the edge of the box. Garbaris does palm it away though. Happy days. And I've got the ball of Jallo. He rolls it into Werner. He takes a beautiful wee turn there. Shoots across the keeper. And we do finally have the breakthrough. Took 57 minutes this time. But now Burton to do what all the AI boys do. Whips a cross in. But Grabar makes a quite nice save at the near post. But in comes the corner. Again, it's floated far. Quite high. Grabar makes an absolute move of it when he punches it back down to a Burton player. He has it back in off the post. And I don't know how I haven't conceded there. That was... It's like the game wants us to win the league this time. But yeah, 67 minutes in now. Jarlow just calmly rolls on three to Werner. He slides it past the goalkeeper. That's the 2 0 advantage to us. Looking quite comfortable. Burton, though, they have another corner. They whip it at the edge of the box. Again, they've won the header. Onto another header, but just lobs over the rest of the players in the side net. But thankfully, that is the last chance they got. But they hold strong, get the 2 1 win. Another quick trading session there to get the players going. Jan Valerie getting upgraded a bit. And now you can see we are heading up to our next round of the Carabao Cup against Burnley. Our last two seasons, if you will remember, we went out in both seasons in our cup games against Premier League teams. Now though, we have better players in our third season. I'm hoping we can push through. The players are a little bit tired this time, but I do just use the strongest team to keep them going. Don't want to risk it. And yeah, Burnley open up the first chance for themselves in this game. Robbie Brady is pretty much unchallenged here, but he does scuff the shot well wide. Then we get our own chance for a cross. Branco, he cuts it on his right foot, whips it over the Werner. Does win the header, but it's a very poor one. Does just dribble wide. Like Burnley are in for another chance. It is Vidra. He absolutely steps my tackle. Has a crack at the near post. Grabar does stand strong, get it away though. Now in the second half, we're on the 60 minute mark. Werner finds the pass to the running Jallo. He composes himself, takes the shot, but scuffs it wide. I don't know how I've missed that, but I'll blame his left foot. He does get another bite at it though. Werner again, find the free ball. This time he's on his right foot. I hit it at the near post and it does get us to the goal. Put us 1-0 up. And now, the keeper's in the driving seat. Harry Wilson tries to run in the box here. Cuts it back with a fake shot. I went a dodgy penalty. And a cup game, I guess I'll take it. I decided to use Harry Wilson to take the penalty too. A point arrow towards the left, but at the side last minute to go right. But it is saved. I definitely guess to where he's going. But we're able to push through in the last 10 minutes. Fakir gets a run through, he bombs on forward, he's nearly fallen over the place, holds off the defender. Hayton makes a save, but Wilson is there just to slide it across the 6-yard box back in for Werner to see it. And boom, just like that, we're in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. And also in Seth's game, he actually won 1-0 in his game against Man United. So it's far more impressive than my little win against Burnley, but doesn't benefit it much more than me. And also there, the third group stage match of Europa League is played out. Calum and Will both winning their games again. Will against Malmo, Calum against Marseille, and they're both sitting top of their groups on nine points. But yeah, now it's time for the last game of the month and of the episode. It is the same match against Coventry. This match takes well for anything to happen, but run the arm mark with two concede, and nothing else happens. And our streak has sadly ended with a shitty on the loss. But ah well, we'll turn things around again next episode on a bomb free November. But for now, we'll have a quick look at the league tables. To see where we're all sitting. Starting off with League One. I'm at the top at the moment on 35. With Welsh two points behind me on second with 33 points. And then Owen is two points behind him on 31 in third. So yeah, it is going to be a very close battle for the auto promotion spots. And we'll quickly look at the championship as well. You can see here that Callum is miles clear at the top. He's still unbeaten. He's unbeaten in the league for like a season and a half nearly. He's sitting on 43 points. In second is Will. 8 points behind him on 35. Then it's Bournemouth. But then it is Seth. He's on 32 points. That could potentially close him up as well. I'll be get further into it. But yeah. Also that team of Werner is marching his way clear at the top of the goal scorers list. He's clear by one. Fakir on there as well. Not too shabby. 
and I see my players doing some decent work. But yeah, that is where I'm going to end off this episode. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it'd be so massively appreciated if you drop a like on it. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. The next episode will be out very soon. We'll get us closer to the January transfer winner for this season. And we'll also see the FA Cup get started in the next episode as well. So yes, that's what's happening next time. But as I say, that is it from me. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And I will see you next time.